Let's take a look at what the books are saying for this weekend. The highest total on the board is between the Saints and the Bucks in Tampa Bay. Total has gone down. It opened at 51 and a half, but it has since gone down to 50. The line has held steady at five points. So Brandon, how are you looking to stack this game? And where does it rank for you among the games to stack? I think the, the main ones are Baltimore, Houston, and then um, the Panthers against the Falcons. Where does this game stack up for you? Um, so that's two questions. Uh, <laughs> I think that probably Carolina Atlanta might be my favorite okay. price because the pricing is a little better. I think that's fair. Um, then Baltimore Houston and then this game. It's hard to pick. They're all good. I think the I, only... I, re- I, I realize that uh, Carolina Atlanta is probably not the the right one to have number one, but I'm thinking from a value perspective, I guess. Yeah, I think I would have Baltimore Houston higher because I love both the quarterbacks, and there are cheap ways to stack and cheap logical ways to stack both of them. So yeah. I think I would go with that one first. I would put. It's like See, it's I... like pick. Yeah, I don't. I'm not enthused with the either quarterback i guess in atlanta carolina like they're okay i'm okay with matt ryan i'm okay with kyle allen uh but like they're not priorities but i also don't know like if breeze and winston are necessarily priorities breeze is 83 so he's no longer cheap which he was in his first game back Jameis is 76 i think that's a pretty good number especially Mm -hmm. if uh if marshawn Lattimore sits so maybe i will put this game second um i don't know it's tight. I think Latim- they're all yeah. If Lattimore's out, yeah, I would probably put this. I, see, they're all close to me. I mean, yeah. and again, the reason I put Carolina Atlanta number one is everyone's cheap for the most yeah. part outside of outside of Julio and McCaffrey. I think that makes sense. Uh, so, how are you stacking this game? You know, which are your favorite combinations on each side? Uh, Jameis over Breeze. I, I'd rather just stack uh, Tampa Bay with. I'd agree. Again, I'm gonna put Mike Evans number one. Ho- like, hopefully Lattimore's out. I mean, yeah. we said that on Monday that we hope Get he's some rest, like man. fine, but <laughs> it would just be great. Yeah. But I love Mike Evans' uh, workload. I love his peripherals. I love his air yard usage more than Chris Godwin. So I'd put him number one. So I, I would go Jameis. Uh, and Evans uh, as the, the the way that I want to get uh, exposure to Tampa Bay. Yeah, and I think running it back with Thomas is desirable. I think you can make a case for cheaper Saints. Alvin Kamara is 78. It's a bad matchup against Tampa Bay, but that could lead to more passing game work for him, which is what we want out of Alvin Kamara. So he's an option for game stacks. I'm not sure if he is a priority as a standalone play for me. Uh, but I think that Traquan Smith played a lot of snaps last week in his first game back. I think he ran three more routes than Ted Ginn. It was like 46 to 43 or somewhere in there. And Traquan Smith is $4,900. I don't mind that. Jared Cook is 6000 at tight end. I don't mind that. He is also quite high on the fan share tag, so keep that in mind. But I think that Traquan and Cook and Kamara are all guys all including game stacks. But if I'm filling out one lineup and stacking this game, I think you just go the easy route. Go Jameis, Mike Evans, Michael Thomas, and then scramble for value elsewhere. Yeah. So how does how does Godwin stack up for you overall? I think he's a really good play. Um, I had him in my player picks initially, and then okay, I couldn't I couldn't make the case to put him over Mike Evans. Like he could he like if you do like a, a distribution a normal distribution of like their their fantasy points. There are going to be a lot of situations in which Chris Godwin outscores Mike Evans, but I think the ceiling is higher and my median expectation is also higher for Mike Evans. So I would go him over him. Like, give me, if you give me 10 Jameis lineups, I think it's 60 40 Evans. Yeah. Maybe 70 30. Maybe like six and I a get- half, three and a half. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I'd, I go a little, even a little bit more 60 yeah. 40. Um, because you're stacking this game with the expectation that these players do hit their ceilings, and Mike Evans just right, that's true. His, he has multiple games with 190 yards and multiple touchdowns. Like, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what a guy. Love it. Uh, what about the cheaper Bucks, specifically OJ Howard? 
been running more routes recently. Snap rate was pretty good last week. And then Ronald Jones got a lot of work in the passing game last week. And then Bruce Arian said this week that he wants to continue doing that. Uh, Ronald Jones, 64. OJ Howard, I believe, is 53. What are your thoughts on those two guys? Uh, Jones, I think, would only be part of game stacks. I'm, I just, I think that there are better options overall. Although, I mean, you, you could do again way worse uh, for a running back who's trending up in a game there where there should be a lot of points. He's just still splitting the rushing workload and probably the red zone work uh, with Peyton Barber. Uh, but OJ Howard, 5300, 75 uh, percent of the of the pass routes last week, seven targets in a really good matchup. Uh, but the Saints are also 26th. Uh, and target success rate allowed to tight end, so it's another good matchup. I was thinking about uh, about Ronald Jones when you were describing him, and you literally described Devin Singletary. Um, <laughs> like passing down work, half the carries, may lose some red zone work. Ah, yeah. that's Devin Singletary. But Singletary's spot is better, so I'm going to keep Singletary higher. But I think that there is a case you made for Ronald Jones. I agree where probably best for game stacks, but maybe – a little bit of appeal beyond that, but I would prefer a single tear. I prefer Tevin Coleman too uh, over Ronald Jones. 